This is Aaron Fisher, Technology Integration Facilitator for the East Bridgewater Public Schools. And this is an example of how you can quickly take scores from a Google Forms quiz or test and convert them into percentages so you can easily input them into your gradebook. Um, as you know or may not know, um, Google Classroom and SchoolBrains do not integrate. Um, many LMS systems do not integrate with Google Classroom. So this uh, isn't a SchoolBrains issue per se as much as it is a Google Classroom issue. Um, hopefully that will change in the future. But let's say you have a Google Forms test and it gives your kids their score. And for your own purposes, it may not be a fraction that's easily to convert. Um, you can simply put in a formula, and I will give you the formula to copy and paste. So all I did here was I took this column score, and I inserted a column to the right, and I titled it percent. Then you are simply going to take this formula, which looks more complicated than it is. I'm going to just give you the formula to paste into the cell. So you always want to make sure your fraction is in the C column, which it should be based on the way Google Forms pushes out their data. Add the column here, percent, then just double click into the cell and paste the formula I'm going to send you. Now this formula really just says that you're taking the left side of C2 and dividing it by the right side. It's just that's how complicated the formula looks when you input it into an Excel or Google Form spreadsheet. Now if I just hit enter, and like I said, I'm gonna give you this to copy and paste in, hit enter, and it will convert that to a percent I take this little blue square on the right, I drag it all the way down, and it converts all of them. Notice it's not converting this because there's nothing in here. And now you can take those scores and input them into your gradebook for easy viewing. Um, and I know out of 20, you may say, well, that's an easy one to convert, but sometimes it's out of 13 or it's out of 17, and that's not as easy. So that's a quick formula, and I will copy and paste that formula in with this video tutorial. Thank you very much. Have a great day.